Hi, welcome to Triathletes in Motion YouTube channel. I'm Mark Evans. Go ahead and read the about section or watch the introduction video uh, to tell you what this uh, channel is about. Today we're going to talk about one of the key elements of swimming and I refer to this as the headline. Essentially what you want is to have less separation between your chin and the sternum when you're breathing. In other words, if this, this would be a separation here. So if the sternum line is here, this is a separation. So what you want is to want to maintain more of a neutral spine and chin column throughout the stroke. And so the key here is, one of the keys, is that when you begin your pull or your hold rather, don't like the word pull and you'll get that in another, but you're essentially holding water. But when that happens, when that hold begins, it is the simultaneous turn of the head with the sternum to catch air. And the headline is so important because you don't want to have too much excessive rotation. Excessive rotation pushes the hips this way if or if that separation. Elevation pushes the hips down. So it calls an, causes an asymmetrical shift of the body line. And what you want is have as much alignment as possible when you're swimming. So here's what uh, I like to see is if this is the water line here, right there, is that your head will turn and then you'll curl your mouth upward. And that lessens the amount of head turn or body turn that you need to utilize in order to get air. So the timing is turn here, there is a channel because of the head, the water's hitting the head causes this channel or a bow wave and there's actually a pocket right here so if you actually look look with your eyes maybe do 10 or 20 25s take 10 or 15 seconds rest after each one and each time you're doing that you're working on the breath line but you're watching it you're looking at it so i'm looking and i'm actually oh there's a channel here so i don't have to have excessive rotation, elevation, or flexion is another area. So work on that one. And it also, for open water swimming, the amount of rotation changes with the relationship to the other swimmers, uh, the conditions of the waves, and the direction where you're swimming in terms of your landline or the buoy. When you lift your head, by the way, to take a stroke, do so with the sternum as opposed to just extending the neck. And that'll keep your breath line nice and tight to the channel on the bow wave. This channel, bow wave, air pocket. I'm Mark Evans. Thanks for watching. Take care.